guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. And I thought what we'd do today, I sort of talked about this a couple of weeks ago, is just sort of talk about why you can smell whatever type of fragrance you like. You can smell like that type of fragrance and a good type of that fragrance for not a lot of money. You know, I watch videos sometimes where there's reviewers and all they talk about or high-end, really expensive niche fragrances. And that's cool. Like, that's what they're into. Um, that's great. But in a lot of fragrance categories, you just, you don't need to spend that much money to smell like you're wearing a really good fragrance. You know, like, it's sort of like with wine, uh, like wine stewards, right, at, like, restaurants. Like, you know, a, a sommelier, a good sommelier, right? Like, any sommelier can recommend a $500 bottle of wine. It's usually be pretty good, Right. But it's the sommeliers that have talent, I think, that can give you a 30 to 40 or $20 bottle of wine that's going to taste like a very expensive bottle of wine that really sort of understand wine. And I think if you really understand fragrance, you can sort of pick different fragrances at each price point that are very good quality fragrances and will give the wearer uh, an experience like they're wearing something that smells more expensive. So... The categories I'll definitely be covering, I'll, we'll be doing um, uh, definitely gourmands, like we'll talk about some gourmands that you can get at every price point. Uh, and we're going to do today, we're going to do barbershop fragrances. And again, this isn't to just say, oh, here are cheap fragrances, here are not expensive fragrances in these categories. I don't like the word cheap. But here's different price points and you should be comfortable getting these fragrances at these price points. Um, you know, we can do other um other genres as well we can do orientals we can definitely do freshy citrus fragrances let me know if there's categories you'd like to see we're going to start with my favorite uh genre and my i've really come to appreciate uh barbershop fragrances we typically think of barbershop fragrances as aromatic fougeres um you know the classic ones obviously being brute um and and pinot classic club man which you've probably seen at lots of old school barbershops and, you know, fougere means fern. Um, we all know that. Um, and the first uh, fougere fragrance was uh, Fougere Royale by Houboujin. And um, it means fern. And it really, there's no fern in these fragrances, but they have a sort of green lavender smell. There's usually oak moss. There's usually citrus. There's always, always, almost always lavender um, and they, I really like them because they give you this very clean, fresh out of the, fresh out of the barber chair smell where you've just had like a hot towel shave, you know, warm shaving foam. It just, it's a really uh, enjoyable smell. Uh, they perform better than just citrus aromatic fragrances, which to me, you know, um, can be fleeting. And it, it, it's not like you don't just smell citrusy, you sort of smell very clean and masculine in a lot of ways. So um, let's talk about five fragrances in this genre that are very good, that are available at every price point. So if you want to not spend a lot of money and get a good aromatic fougere, I would think you should probably first go with Azaro Poro. Uh, it's a very good fougere uh, it's $20. I looked online and you can find 50 ml bottles um, of this for, for $20. So there's like no reason you can't pick this up. It does exactly what you want it to do, right? Which which really smells like a barbershop fragrance. That's that's what it does. That's what it is. Um, it, it delivers on that. You know, it's not the top of the line. But, you know, to be fair, you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on these types of fragrances because you're really not dealing with expensive materials, if you know what I mean. Like you're dealing with lavender and some, you know, some, as I said, some oak moss, you know, some citrus, um, you know, uh, maybe some like uh, hay-like notes, right? But you're not like, you're not, you're not dealing with like oud or rose or, or normally natural vanilla like the, you know the notes in, in these fragrances are really um really affordable you know and this one has a nice anise note it's got lemon it's got lavender there's basil in here um there's an iris note it's just really well blended it's really well done it came out in 1978 so this is like one of the og fougere fragrances and as i said at 20 dollars 
like for a 50 ml, a little bit more for 100 ml. You, you can't go wrong with this. So if you want a good barbershop set, and if you want to go even less, if you want to spend less money, I have Clubman Pinal. I just didn't feel like breaking it out. That's a really good fragrance. Like it is, it's an aftershave and it's not going to give you um, a ton of, um, of performance. It's not going to last forever. But man, for what it is, like it, it's really good. And like you can get that for like $10, splash it on. It, it does the job too. I personally recommend getting this over that. Um, but if you said, hey, you know, I really, I don't even want to spend 20 bucks, you can definitely pick this up and know that you got a pretty good, uh, pretty good aromatic fougere. So if you want to spend a little more than 20 bucks, now the fragrance I was going to go to that I talked a little bit about last week was the OG Reeve Gauche. That to me is sort of the best designer aromatic fougere. Um, that's not, not only available in the tin anymore, it's also not available, I did see it in the squarish bottles that they re-released a bunch of um, YSL men scents in. Uh, so I saw bottles, even the, re, the, the newer bottles going for two, three hundred dollars online. Um, it's a good fragrance. I wouldn't recommend spending two to three hundred dollars. Dua has a very good version of the, of the OG Reeve Gauche Pour Homme. That's like 70 bucks. You can definitely pick that up if you're feeding for that. And that is maybe pound for pound. As I said last week, when you take price, when it came out into consideration, you take the rosemary note at the top that sort of gives it a, a really wispy herbal cleanliness. It's the best for me. I wouldn't recommend paying two to three hundred dollars. So I'd recommend if you really want it, picking up the the Dua version of it. But if you want to spend in that fifty dollar range, another just amazing, and I mean amazing. Uh, one is this, and this is called Third Man by Caron. Now, Caron also has Poron, which is a very good lavender fragrance. It's sort of a barbershop fragrance, but it's just got lavender. It's got lavender, vanilla, and I think there's amber in it. Um, so you might be a little bit like, it's not that full, it's not that full barbershop experience. This is way more, um, this is way more to that point. This really smells like a, a barbershop scent. As I said, you can get this online for $50. Caron is a really, really classy um, French house that goes back a long, long time. And uh, this one, you know, it's, it's really just got the classic, classic, very classic fougere thing going. It's got the lavender in here. Um, you know, there's citrus here. Uh, I think there's there's uh there's some labdanum in the in the base uh it's just really really good for the money you know a lot of people think it's the best the best um aromatic fougere i don't know that i'm willing to go that far but i will tell you that it's very good and if you just want to spend like 50 you know uh, 60 bucks which i think this is you can get it delivered i mean uh yeah delivered online for 50 60 bucks you're gonna have a hard time doing a lot better. You know, this was a 1985 release, so this is a classic fragrance as well. Um, just really, really good. And there's rosemary in this one too. Um, you've got some florals in the mid, some carnation, some geranium. Um, this is good. This is a great fougere. If you're gonna spend $50, this is probably your best bet. Now, if you wanna spend some more money, if you're willing to go to 100, basically 100 to 200 a little bit more i think at the hundred dollar price point if you can get a 50 ml of sartorio by penhaligans you're doing extremely well this is a very different um a very different sort of um uh fougere fragrance i mean because this was meant to smell like a tailor shop in london in seville row and so you've got all these different elements. And one of the elements was the colognes that the tailors would be wearing. So you've got the lavender in here. You've got some violet leaf, which has become sort of a new, um, a new addition to these sorts of fragrances. You know, you've got oak moss in this one, but you've got a lot more. You've got the, the you know, metallic notes of, um, 
of the scissors they'd be using to cut cloth. You've got the aldehydes that would be from like the steam irons and you know the uh, iron uh, steam from the iron that the tailors are using to press fabric. You've just got a bunch of beeswax because the be the threads um, that they use to tailor are coated in beeswax. So you've just got all these beautiful notes and it, it, it really, this is Bertrand Duchot Fort created this fragrance. This is Duchot Fort is finest. And to be honest, this, this is really, this in Jubilation 25 really got me into niche. You know, the first ones I tried, I talked about um, were Vetiver Extraordinaire by, by Frederick Ma and then later New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9. But I got some samples from Lucky Scent you know, Back to Black was one of them, um, uh, Jubilation 25, Black Afghano, and this. And this this blew my mind to see that a, a, a perfumer could make a a scent that could smell like a, like a tailor shop really sort of, you know, made me see that fragrances didn't just have to smell like flowers or food or, you know, herbs or anything like that. You could really be creative with it. And this is far and away one of my favorites. I don't think this is discontinued, but because it's on the Penn Halligan's website, but there was definitely a time when you could get bottles of this for like 50, 60 bucks easily. Now it seems a little bit harder to do that. It looks like there's only really 100 mLs available for approaching $200, but this is well worth it. Now, also, if you want to stay in that 100 to $200 range, this is a great one from Histoire de Parfum. It's called Casanova 1725. Um, Casanova, as you guys know, was the Italian, you know, Casanova, basically. He was really good with women, women and, um, you know, a playboy, a dandy, basically. And so, you know, that's funny that their sort of aromatic fougere fragrance, they decided to name it after, you know, a, a stud, basically. Um, this is a, you know, sort of an updated version of the barbershop fragrance it came out in 2001 it's got licorice in it it's got grapefruit there's star anise in this one this one's really good but the, it's about 100 i think it's 125 dollars for the 60 ml and then like 175 for the 120 ml i like this one a lot but the only issue i have with it when it comes out of the sprayer it's amazing it's just got this beautiful aromatic fougere smell to it and then gradually it starts to lose steam faster than you'd like uh at an over 100 fragrance but it's still very good and i don't think you can quip at 125 bucks it still makes the grade here so i'd say if you're comfortable with spending that you want to get this guy and then the final one i have i would say this is a less a, a, a worse representation than this fragrance I'm about to show you. And for me, this is as good as aromatic fougeres get. Now, I've smelled some Raja Dove ones. I'm going to talk, I'll talk right now briefly about Guada Portugal by Creed, which I think is a very good aromatic fougere. It's right up there with this guy. I don't think it's worth the $300. Again, Dua has a version of that. Um, it's close to it. You know, duas are always close. They're not, not, never really exactly on the money. They're usually 90 to 95%. That one's close. They have a version of what I'm about to show you that's very much on the money, but I'd recommend getting this because to me, this fragrance is just so good. And to me, yeah, this is the best representation of, of an aromatic fougere. Um, and this one is called, I'm just going to spray it first. This one is called... Um, Invasion Barbar by Parfums MDCI. And this is just an incredible, incredible, incredible uh, aromatic fougere. There, there's nothing like this. There's really nothing, nothing like this. There's just, I mean, it's so brilliant. There's a violet leaf note at the top. There's grapefruit in this one that really pops. There's lavender, there's cardamom, there's vanilla in this. The crazy thing is, the more I think about, I don't even know if this is the best scent from the brand because the, the more I've worn cheaper Palatin, I really kind of think I like that better, which just shows you how great this brand is. But, you know, this one is, um, they make two styles of bottles. If you just get it like this, with no fancy cap, I think it's 250 for 75 ml. And then you can get it with this big, like, hand-carved bust, um, like, you know, like someone's portrait, like, sculpture on top of it. But that's, like, 375 and that does look beautiful. It makes a beautiful presentation. And if you care about such things, that might be the way you want to go. 
Um, I just wanted this fragrance, so I just, you know, bought it as is. It's $250. That's a lot for an aromatic fougere. As I said, I've smelled Raja fougeres, smelled Bois de Portugal. They're both, they're, all of those are more expensive than this. This is the way you should go if you want to spend good money on an aromatic fougere. And again, if you don't have the coin for that, I'd recommend saving up. If not, you can check the Dua version out. I think it's called Invasion of the Barbers. Um, it's very good. It's like 70 bucks. Again, they they also have a version of the Reeve Gauche. Um, that's very good as well. I forget what that one's called. But, you know, these guys are really so inexpensive that, you know, you don't you don't need a clone of those. You should just get those. And so for me, you don't have to spend the 250 to smell like you're wearing a really good barbershop set. You could spend $10 on Pinal Club Man and you're still going to smell really good. You can spend 20 on a Zara Perome, you're still going to smell really good. You could spend 50 on Third Man by Caron, you're still going to smell really good. You could spend 100 to 200 on Sartorio or 1725, you're still going to smell really good. And you can spend a little bit more and sort of get the creme de la creme in this genre with the Parfums MDCI Invasion Bar Bar. But any way you slice it with these, you're going to smell really good. The difference between something like Pinal Club Man, which is $10, and Invasion Bar Bar is better materials and just a different blend of Fougere materials. But not, these are 90% similar DNA-wise with the exception of Sartorial uh, because Bertrand, Bertrand Juscio 4 wanted to do something totally different, which to me, which is why this is the most genius fragrance of the lot but they're all really good i could wear any of these any day of the year and be extremely happy and that includes Pinal club man that includes reeve gauche if you see reeve gauche you have an opportunity to buy reeve gauche for a good price go for it and that includes Boada portugal as well i think that's a great fougere i just don't know if it's worth approaching 300 dollars having a little bit of a problem with creed pricing uh as of recent but if you got it go for it and that's it, guys. So this is why you can smell really good and not have to spend a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's what this is about. That's why I wanted to do this series. We're gonna look at gourmands next weekend. Um, and if there's another category that you guys are interested in seeing me talk about, please drop a comment and I'll make sure to get to it. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. I feel like I'm sort of back into a little bit of a swing, a routine. Maybe I'll have a review or two coming up. So one of these you guys want to see reviewed. Um, let me know. Maybe I'll take care of that for you guys. And again, man, stay safe. You know, get vaccinated if you can, if, if it's in your best interest. And um, I'll see you guys again real soon with more videos. I, I appreciate the fact that, you know, no one, my subscriber count literally stayed solid <laughs> throughout my my sabbatical. You know, like no one really joined, but nobody left. And I really appreciate that about you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll try to keep making more videos for you guys. I'll see you again real soon. You obviously know what it is. Man.